Hey guys, and welcome back to DD Empires with me, Time and Tactics. So, um, we lost Dinst last time, right over here to Wexagir. Remember that? Yeah, and there's more armies coming here. 3,500, 1,700, another one, 3,000. I think back here there was another army that was pretty strong. But uh, we do have one army here with three lesser angels, right? And a wizard, and Falkand is there as well. And didn't we have one army down here? Yes, we do. 2,800. We can always back that up. We can maybe take back the city and then uh, move the army in there. What do we have in Idugs? We have a total of five units. Right. Not ideal. And here, 2,500 Grimdire. We have 2,500 as well, but we do have... Well, these are ranged units. And we have the scouts there. Those are good. And spearmen. And then what do we have? We have... Um, Defense Tower 1, City Walls 2. So that's not too bad. Now, hmm, what do we do next then? There's just Army of Zinfek here. We can attack that here. Yeah, we should do that. Have the beginning of his army over here, just to hold back anything from Zinfek over here. Yeah, I think that's good. And I think gear down here is not, doesn't have too much. But before we get started, let's look at what happened uh, last time. Our marks been gained lesser arcane strike. We have mercenaries in door. Well, we'll take that. Hire that. What else? Mercenaries in Brompton. We'll take that too. And then construction complete in Werv. That's over here, right? What do we have as far as defense here? City walls one. That's it, right? What are we making here? Fifty-four production because we have two hundred forty-seven. Okay. So what can we build here then? Well, how many buildings can we actually get in the build in the city here? Well, quite a few. So let's just go ahead and and maybe go down the path of getting more protection, more walls or stronger walls are better, right? Getting another tower is also good. That's two hundred and fifty. We have two hundred forty-seven uh, resources right now already, so that's actually pretty good. Here. <sighs> that is not bad. To get the fireball, for instance, is not bad. But which one is better here, eventually, long term, right? This will give us, I think, 2% magic research as well. But I'm kind of leaning towards getting more wall. Because then we can stand behind the wall longer and keep on firing. Let's go for that. And then we'll go down here and then there. Yeah, let's do that. What else do we have going on here? Edux in the north, Beatles Workshop done, Mason's Guild next. And that's, I'm just doing that so I can get production going a little bit. Eventually, we're going to have to get City Walls. Well, that's next, I guess, right? Because right now, we're making 20, well, 10 in resources because we don't have hardly any population here. Once we get another one, get it there. Maybe, yeah, this is a good city, but we got to get the population in there. Okay, well, that's fine there. Philodathon, that's in the south, the newest city we took in the south, right? Sheriff's office done. City walls next. And that's going to be pretty quick. 52, we'll have 48 in production. Right, but that's still pretty quick. I don't need to worry too much about that here. But we need to build up the city walls so we can defend it without having to station gear in the city. Mineral terrain bonus discovered green orb. That's here. That's our prospector. Okay, finally we got something out of this. Now the green orb is the weakest. Control right click. It gives us what? Green orb. Five. Uh, that's a mono well here. So we get... Uh, what is the bonus there? Wait a minute. Right, it's five. It's five per mono well for green orb. So not super strong, but what do you have right now? We have a uh, level one mi uh, mine there. So we're getting a total of five so far. Right, the mine. The mine doesn't help. We need to get a mono well in there to get to take care of this, right? Hmm. If we can improve that, that would be a, another bonus to that. Um, but I have a, right now level one out of five mine. What can I do to fix that? Well, I have to get a engineer over there, right? But we'll take him first, our prospector. Let's move him across here. This one is done. Maybe go over. Well, we want to look in our. In our hills, right? So let's go over here and do a prospect. Uh, it's going to cost us a thousand. Yep, 20% chance. Not too bad. Now, what about these? Are they actually working? They don't have anything else to do here, right? Oh, under construction. Oh, that's a prospect. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, we'll take them. 
If I can take him... Let's do Archer. Okay, we'll take... Oh, that's a warrior. I was thinking him as an engineer. Okay, we have two units here then. So should we take them and move them north? Or are they going to go down here and help out? I don't know. Let's wait with them for a second. Here's Rompton. I don't want to go back and attack the Grey Gnome Thief. That's only one. We need to keep on going up here north, I think, right? If they attack Garrix again, we might be in trouble there. All right, you're going to rest again. Remember, they nerfed the um, lesser heal, so it's not as good as it was. Well, that's fine. Okay, we can move this army up now, and I think we should move him up here, right? Right. Press spacebar. He's there now. Two moves left. So we can get into the mountains here if we want to, I think. Uh, one. If he this army moves, one, two, three, four, he can't get to the Edukes. So we can probably take this army and move him over here. That's 3,500. We have 2,800. He can't attack me there. Well, mountains. Mountain dwarfs are fast here, right? We would lose this, wouldn't we? So what we should do probably is move this army up and kind of keep this in the back. And then uh, he can be protected by Falkand. Right. I think we're going to do that. Oh, here we have a engineer. Okay, two engineers, actually. Let's move them over to the green orb. Actually, let's look here. What do we have? It's a mono well right there. Yeah, let's look at this one. So this one gives us uh, level 4 mono well for red orb 44, 48. That's a better, uh, better um, orb than the green one. So that's good. So we should probably go ahead and, and bump up, yeah, if we can do that there. Uh, so I have my two guys here. Can I build Demolish Improvement? Right. Destroy the Mine a Thousand, then build in the Mana Well. Let's do that. So then, well, that was quick. I haven't actually done that before, so that was just right away. 500, yep, let's get that. They're working on that. Great, we should get that quickly. The reason I'm not going higher here, level 4 is going to cost m much more money. It seems more cost effective to get a level 1 or 2 in green for a green orb than getting to a level 5 in red. And we have also mana specialization here, 12%. Okay, that's pretty good. And if you're wondering why we're getting 48, well, for the red orb, each or each mana well you have will give you 12. So this here gives us then 12 times 4, 48. So that's good. Okay, let's go and um, go over to the next unit. Heladuath, right. What am I doing with this? This is my... This is my one and only... Settler, and I was gonna put him. I guess I could now I can put him anywhere here. In fact, if we want to check it out, we can press not F6 but F5, I think it was right. So we have cities here. Um, there's one spot right there, right there, one spot because there's a city over here. If we take that city, at least there's a city here. No, but there's one down here, so we should probably go ahead and move him down south. Now, should we? We should attack here and then move the the settler up here. Let's do that. Let's take our army here first. That is only, well, 1,900 there. What do we have? 3,500. Let's take it seriously and attack with everybody, right? We'll attack there right now, I think. Right. So we have one unit that can attack close combat, right? Don't forget, we also have our... Uh, Battle Mana here. We can get a couple of those Lesser Angels. I like those a lot. This guy here is very strong. 88. And he has that spell. Animate Lesser Tree Ent. Wait. Magic Weakness? Hmm. Alright. So this one here, we can get that instead. It will cost uh, 15. He has 20. He can do that once. I think it's a good idea to get that right now. Bark Skin will cost 9. And give us what? Um, 5 units at armor chance. That's nine. If I do, if I do the lesser treant, then it's not going to help out as much. Now, how many units do they have that can attack close combat here? Dark Elf Warrior, nothing to worry about there. Drudge, don't think they're too dangerous. This one here is pretty dangerous. Open terrain, though. You know, I'm tempted to give him Barkskin here. Give him Barkskin, and then we'll move him down back here. And then we'll fire on everybody here. We can't do that yet, and I think they're going to be moving in themselves on the road, maybe. I think I'm going to get a Lesser Angel after all, because then we can control the, the you know, the um, zone of control a little bit better. Let's do that. We'll put an Angel here. 
they, they can't get through here. They have to go through. There's sun control here and there as well. I think that's fine. We'll stay here. They're going to get closer. And then we'll... Uh, now, wait a minute. We, if we move up two... Right. I uh, have to move up more than that. I was going to move up enough to attack. And I would have to go here. Uh, I could go here. Oh, he has a better range. Right. But as you move, you do uh, lose precision, right? So... They have a lot of ammo, so that's not a problem. And he can't reach, so that's fine. Okay. There's a black dragon there. What do we have? Baby black dragon. Yeah, nothing special there. Acid immunity. Okay, so we should focus our efforts on this one now. I think rushing here and taking him out would be good. What do we get here? Wall sharpshooter. Right. They don't do much there. He, though... Range distraction. If we fire here and then rush up with the angel and the treant, we should be able to do good damage. Let's do that first. We'll switch over to the throwing spear by pressing 2. Even if he misses, that's fine. So now he's down to 21, right? We'll take the treant now because I think the angel is a little more sensitive. Nah, maybe not. He's flying. Should I get another angel? Yeah, we'll take another angel. We'll attack with this one first. Okay. Right, so actually lots of damage there, and now he's down even further, 16% hit chance. And they can't be attacked by any melee units, so we should be okay here. And then the tree end can go up, and he's not going to be uh, taking any damage. Well, four, okay. Alright, so now we can fire, we fire on these. There is a baby black dragon. What are these? Dark of War, nothing really there, right? We'll take uh, on the baby black dragon, I think. A little bit of damage there. Not very much. But they have a lot of ammo. I'm not really worried about that. Oh, he can't do anything. Move him up here. He doesn't have as much ammo, so... He's moving away. Okay, fine. That's fine. You can do that. Now, this is a little bit of a worry here, right? Um, 28. He's in the woods. No, he's not. He's open to rain. Okay. I'm going to attack here. Bow. I cannot attack there. Oh, what am I missing? There. Good damage. Oh, he's got a spell. Blind. Okay. Duration 3. He can't fire, I guess. Now, do we want to attack? I think I can attack with all of my ranged units and just move my angels around to block everybody from move from getting close to my ranged units. Right. Three left. We should be fine now. If I move my tree end over here... Right. There. And now we can move up there. Um, am I going to attack here? Maybe not. Maybe just stay here for a second. Oh, he's going to move in. But he's pretty weak now. Only one unit. Well, that could go up here. No, I'll stay here. Right. One more. Oh, mm, no, you're going to rest. Okay, he's taking damage. Okay, he is open terrain. We can take him out, I think, with our units now. Let's try that. He's still blind over there. Come on. There we go. Okay, done. So now, I think I want to use my spearman again, and we'll attack maybe this one here. Right. Doing damage there and move in, in here. Oh, okay. Yep. Treant. Move up. There we go. Nobody died. Excellent. So now they're going to be having to heal, but that's fine. Now we'll take our settler, move him back here. Right. I think we're fine there. Brompton, I don't think I'm going to take anything yet. We'll wait one more turn here. No more resources there. Ah, yeah, we have to decide what to do there. Door. We're sitting in door. We're in pretty good shape here, actually, with these units. Now, what is the strength here? 2,800. But door, doesn't a door have City Walls 2? City Walls 3, okay. So I'm going to keep them here. Let's put it on sleep. Right. Uh, you can wait. And uh, what do we have? Another Hyman Scout. Range distraction, I like that one a lot. Um, instead of moving down there, I'm going to move him up. We have one move left. We're going to go up here. Okay. Oh, we have two more here. They're not that good. 
They're slow, but they're in forest. You know what? We'll move them down here. Right. And there is my second army, right? I mean, to keep them behind Falcon's army, I think. Right. So if we take Falcon now, 4,800, we'll attack here. Let's say we do that. Problem is, I used up my battle mine, didn't I? You know what? What if instead we put Falcon's army here? If they attack us there, we're going to be in okay shape. I would think. What does he have again? I'm in Bowman. It's okay. Falcon is good. Three lesser angels. And we have still 14. We cannot get... Uh, I'm looking up here. We have 14 in battle mana. That's not enough to get another angel. Can I switch in an R unit here? I could do that, but I don't think I need them. I don't even know what the sprite does. Flying. It's good. Small. Yeah, harder to hit. But ammo 50, range 8. Doesn't do much damage. Cure poison. Force fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll keep it, but... He has 8. Yeah, we have 5, 8 there, and we have 8 here as well. There is a Hyman Scout there, though. Do you want to get rid of uh, the Bowman? We might want to do that. The Bowman has one more in range, but no range distraction. Right. Yeah, wall sharpshooter. You know what? If we move this army up here, I think we're going to do that. Move him here and then switch out. We'll do that now, actually. We'll deselect everybody and then take him and move him over... Um, move him there. And then we'll take this unit, move him there. Oh, wait. He's out of moves. Okay, never mind. Let's just take what we got now and move up there. And now everybody can go over to this area. I think that's the best option. We'll stay here. Ooh. Right. 59 out of 88 here, and missing one unit there. Oh, wow. Okay. But if you do, um, Lesser Heal doesn't do as much now. Gotta be really careful about that. We have two moves left. He's a mountain unit, so he can go one, two, three, four. He can get... He can get all the way over there. Although there's a rain, uh, sort of control here. I think I'm gonna move this army up here. We'll see what he attacks. Let's see how it goes. He looks, you're gonna have to stay there. Right. Mason's Guild and then City Walls. If we can get there that far. Raising Dead. Yep, yeah, okay, let's go for it. Ugh. I'm not too confident here. We might get a battle here as well. Yes, he attacked there. Okay. Battle of Moor. Okay, so Moor. What do we have? Dark Elf Warriors. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, it's all open terrain. That's bad news for him. And we have two towers. There's no way he can make it. We have four spearmen. We don't have anybody who is really very good at uh, melee, though. You have to take them out the way they are. <laughs> uh, what do they have? 2.5. Hmm. These are scouts. One scout. Range distraction. And then these... Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go down here. And... Um, there. And I'm going to not forget to use these. Let's focus on one of them. Hmm. Short, but I can't reach with any of these, right? So we're going to go for this tower. But I'm wondering if I should do fireball yet, right? We have 20. You can do two fireballs. It'd be good to take him out, but maybe we should wait till we get closer so we know which one we want to attack. We only have two. Maybe do a regular long bow attack here. No damage, yeah. It's going to take him a while to get up there. And maybe we can reach them now. Maybe I could have jumped the wall, actually. No, I can't reach. Okay, so we're just going to use the towers. Let's just go ahead and use them somewhere in the center, I think, here. Yeah. <laughs> no damage. One. Okay, one. What do they have? Now they only have four hit points, so that's fine. Now we can attack. Let's just get everybody on this guy here to bring him down. The usual tactic, right? Okay, good. But we're not going to use the Spearman. I think. Right, we only have three then. Okay. Boy, it's not great, is it? Now, do I have a spell I want to use? Um, let's see, Hell Cure Poison. Holy Burst. Holy Burst is a possibility. 
Um, ten. Okay, well, um, let's, uh... Yeah, we're not gonna use them yet. After. Okay, they're attacking the wall. But they're gonna spread it out, so that's fine. Now we gotta be careful here. We gotta think about when we use the spearmen. You know, their range distraction there is pretty good. Now, who was injured? This one here has one hit point left. Let's start by taking this tower and see if we can eliminate one. Yep, yeah, we did. I'm gonna continue then. Right. I don't want to jump out with this garrison unit yet, but we will eventually. How, what kind of range do we have? We can get these, but there's four over here. We probably should focus on getting one of them down. That's close to the wall, so they kind of block the way. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to lose the city. Hmm. Okay, so that's that. Now we could bring him down. If we bring him down. We can jump out with our garrison unit, but, you know, hmm, how much ammo do we have? Four, no, six. But then they can do decent damage themselves. So if I use that now, then that kind of means that I have to go ahead and start jumping out. Right. Did I already use him? I did use him. Who do I have left? That's it. Oh, wait, I can use this one. Yeah, yeah, I can use him. Okay. Down to one hit point, okay. That's the wall there. He can't do anything but attack the wall, and it doesn't do very much damage. So let's just wait a little bit. This wall's gonna be in bad shape. Oh wait, we have attacked two of them? Okay. Oh yeah, he has down, he's down to four. But I'm worried about this flank more than anything over here, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and just see if we can bring him down then. now okay hmm. we certainly don't do very much damage okay there's three left now I mean yeah three out of five okay um do I want to how, what kind of range do I have on these I can get to here wait one more turn because the wall this wall is the worst one but we have unit actually we have units back here let's go end turn This wall is in bad shape. I don't know if you can see it right there. This wall. So we should try to get this one down a little bit now, I think. This unit here. There's four left. Should we try to take this one out with a spell? I think I want to do that now. Fireball. Right. That worked really well. So that's... We're broken down. We're taking down them a little bit here now. He's going to wait still. We have to do something about this here. This wall's gonna be in bad shape. We should probably focus on this unit here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, wait with you. Oh wait, let's see here. We have three hit points there. Four, four, four. Okay, well, I think I'm attack here though. Zero damage, great. Well, in that case, let's see if we, I don't wanna eliminate a unit, but we could bring him down throwing spear. We can get to out of range. We're right over there. We should be able to reach them. Hmm. Four moves. Oh, spear. He didn't have this the throwing spear ready. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and maybe get. Let's use. We'll see. Yeah. See, now we did use the range distraction, so he went down to 21. Yeah. But I'm not using it to jump out there. Okay. Let's wait one more turn. We have still a little bit left there. So, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, the bowmen, actually, we can attack with them. No damage. <laughs> Nothing. This wall over here. We should bring down this unit here. Then it takes longer with a wall to get it down. Right, let's do that. Oh, wow, three and four. Okay, that's good. That's very good damage there. So now they are equivalent of just one full strength unit attacking there. So that's actually pretty good. Can we reach this one now? No real damage there. Um, I'll do another fireball here, I think, right? The last one. Six damage. Okay. He shouldn't have too much left. One there. Okay. Who else do we have? Tower. Okay. Okay. That's It's looking pretty good now. 
All right, it takes them longer and longer, the fewer units they have to attack a wall. So this one would be next, right? Uh, what do we have? We're here, okay. Three hit points, I'm gonna attack this one. Nope, no damage. Yeah, it's this wall here. We have to worry about a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and focus on getting still this one. Yeah, let's let's take this one if we can. There's two left there now and one hit point. Yeah, we gotta do it again. There. Okay, now switch to this one. And then we'll take the towers again. No more uh, mana left, so that's fine. Four there. These are attacking in there. Okay, well, I should probably wait with these units until we need it, right? Yeah, the walls are holding up pretty well now. And then in that case, we're gonna attack, I think, these two, right? This wall is in bad shape now, so let's attack this one. If I tell them to do auto battle, then we'll lose units for sure because they'll jump over the the wall, I think. So there's two left. So now we can use our garrison unit because they're so weak that we can easily take them on, right? If I were to, can I reach? I can reach with two of my units here. And then I can jump out here and do damage. But do we need to? No, we can still wait. If I attack, eh, zero, okay. Throwing spear, we still have a few throwing spears left, but I'm gonna wait with them. We're keeping a close eye on the hit points. Yeah, we're, just, we're doing fine. So I'm gonna take, yeah, attack this one. Let's get it down to two. Two, okay, now this one over here. Yeah, four. So it paid off right there. Okay, that's good. Uh, who do we have left? Yep. Uh, we can probably jump across now with our spearmen, right? I would think we could. Right. So, but let's just... Let's not waste them anyway. I want to keep my garrison units. They're good to have. It's not bad. They should be down to one hit point. Great, yeah. There, four damage. Oh, I can do another one then. Yep, down to one. You know what? I'm feeling pretty good about this now. We'll go for the next one, which I think this one. It's a fortunate thing that he has very weak units here because our units are not that strong. We need to have like one unit that is a good melee unit. Or I guess if we had more mana, wouldn't be a problem here, right? This will take, yeah, I think I'll, I'll see if I can bring them down even more. There, okay, now. And then this one, we'll go for this one. I think I can do, use my spearmen now. We just use them as regular ranged units, right? And we still have our towers as well. And then we can actually jump over here, jump over the wall with our units and um, let them get a kill here. Once we're down to one, I would think we can do melee here. Well, we don't have to do melee. We can just do ranged attacks. Why not, right? There's two left here. We'll see if we can get one of them down. We can kill one with our units here to get extra experience. Oh, it, that's good. Miss, but okay. Now, let's see if we can kill this one. We killed him. Um, killed him. Killed him. Okay, good. Oh, this is pretty solid now, right? We only have six hit points, so that's why I'm a little bit cautious. I mean, six ammo. And we could jump the ball, but I'm gonna keep him back. I don't want the towers to uh, defeat them. So we're gonna be careful. We're gonna use the tower now on this one. And then let's use our units here. Can't reach. Can't reach. Okay. There. Okay, in that case, let's just wait and we'll take him take him out this time. There we go. Alright, well we got uh, that was a safe 
safe attack there, and we still kept our one uh, our one uh, garrison unit. Now the walls kind of be bad there. In uh, was it more? Yeah, the wall is bad. Oh, what happened here? Oh, they are attacking here from Dinst. What did he? He wasn't that strong in there, right? Yeah, the golem is good, but he's good against wall destroyers against walls, right? Right. So we have time to prepare here because there, he's going to be... Is he mountaineer? He's mountain. Okay, he's going to be pretty fast across the mountains here. So we should probably back up a little bit. And then we can keep using Falcon in the back there. Angels, they can't really get to our angels. Do they have a mage? A priest. Lesser heal, cure poison. Nothing special. Okay, so we have... We can do that then. All right, I think I'm going to keep my units there. We'll move them up oh, if they can get here. Oh, there's a road. Good. There, we'll wait with them there. Protection. Okay, yeah, that's the ice shield, maybe. Right. So that takes 20. Protection there. 20 hit points. He can take 20 in damage. Hmm. Where do we put ourselves, then? We'll put ourselves here, I think, actually, because that way he's going to have to line up in the open. Right. Falcon, um, he can do lesser heal, holy burst. He has 22, and he has 40. He can do fireball. Fireball is quite good, I think, here against the dwarfs. They don't have a defense against that. So we could try that against the mountain dwarf iron golem. He does a lot of damage, but I don't think we've been able to get him before pretty well, right? Oh, wait. Magic resistance. What does he have? Ten. Right. High. Five for the stalwart. And he is a good one. He's very strong. And these have two. So if you do a fireball here, they're going to be in bad shape. Five. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we got to make sure we don't get hit here. I'm going to send one of my angels over there. And they're going to be fast. They can move around in terrain, in bad terrain. We'll move him down here, I think, right. And now we'll go ahead and fire on, should we take this one? I don't think we need to. We'll take, see if we can defeat this one. What does he have? Frost strike, hmm. Okay, we wanna take him out then. Yeah, let's do that, see if we can do it. Um, we can do regular fireball. Let's see if that does any damage. Two, four, good, very good. And he has what? What did he do? Frostbite. Well, let's keep him behind enemy lines, or our own lines, and that way he's not going to take damage. So magic missile. Not very good there. They have low resistance to... Oh, ice shield. A little bit too late there now. Oh, no, he gave him healing. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see then. So he has ice shield. We have an angel. I move that angel over there. We're just going to hold the line here, I think. These two, I'm not sure. He can go up and attack. If I move this angel here. Now I'll move this angel here. And then there. He has to do some maneuvering to get in close. One, two, three, four. He can get in here, maybe. And attack. Maybe. That Star Wars, though, I do want to take him on. Take him on. Let's take Falkand. No, the Hyman Wizard. And do a fireball. He has five in resistance. Okay, wait. I uh, actually attacked. Magic missile. Okay. Two. Um, The angel here. We can go up and attack. Do we need to? Well, I'll put him up here. And we'll wait a turn. We'll see what they do. Falcon uh, did his, right? Yep, he did. And we did there as well. He can fire here. Nothing there. We have to use the spearman. We're going to use him strategically. They have to go around. That's the problem for them, right? So, can we get another fireball in here? Yes, we can do another fireball. So now they're down to how many figures? Well, 20 hit points. Three out of four. The fewer the better. Right. <clears throat> the one attack now? I don't think so. He's going to try to get around here, right? So, one, two, three, four. We should move him back here. Ooh, I can't. In that case, let's back up there and stay there so he can take the hit instead. And we have, uh, done what we can there. Yep, he can't 
No, he can actually attack there. Yeah, he can't move. Okay. Right, three damage. It's something. 17 more to kill him. Uh, should we take him on? We can do that just to get rid of him now, because he's going to be over here on the side, otherwise doing damage. Um, what if I do use my spear? No, I don't want to use that, do I? There. Okay, easier than I thought, right? Yeah, definitely. What's that? Three damage? That's no, not bad. Um, the spearman, you can just wait there. Defend in case he moves in there to attack. There's that golem. Okay, now we should probably run over here. Can I get all the way over here? I can. We'll move over there, and then we'll move over here. There. They can't get through here then. And then you can go down and block this way. While we continue with a fireball. On the star wall over here, yeah. Whoa, 17 damage. Great. Down to three. Magic missile, is that what we want? We want to use the... Well... We'll use this regular magic missile. Ah, nothing. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. I'm going to leave him here, yeah. And the angel, you can stay there as well. He doesn't have any ranged units, so he's kind of out of luck on that. Uh, what do we have? We have spearmen. I'm going to wait with him as well. And the bowmen. Okay, so then I'll attack here. He's in bad terrain, though. Oh, look at that. One damage. Down to two figures now. Now we won't do it anywhere near. Oh, okay. He's coming around. So now they're trying to get through here, right? We can still take our... Now we can take our angels and kind of bunch up here so they can't get in this way, but then they can get through here. Although it may not be that bad. Because if I use my fireball now... One more. 14. And then we'll use the magic missile here. 9. So now he's down to 2. Come on. Ah, we should take him out there. 2 left. I can bunch up in front of him here. Like that. He has to go all the way around. Let's do that. And then next turn, I guess, maybe we'll attack there. Oh. Oh, they cast that spell on him, right? And attacked him. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what we can do about that, then. Uh, we want to take him out, though. He has nine hit points there. I can't do another fireball, but I can do a magic missile. I think I have to do that here. Four. What do we have? Five left. Eleven. Okay, now it's down to one. Not as worried about one unit, right? While strong, it's not nearly as strong as what we have. 4.9 in armor, though, so that's kind of bad. If I move him up here... Oh, no. This unit up here. There. Okay, we took him out. I was hoping we would. Okay, so now we should focus on this one here. If I am to... If I use my Spearman now... Let's do that. Throwing Spear. Right, so now we just move down to 22. 3.6. And then I will fire here. No, wait. I will attack with the Angels. I don't want them to die, though, but... Uh, are, they, are we done here? Done. Fireball. Zero. Okay. Still the same, 3.6 and 22. So we have to use an angel. We're going to use the one of the stronger ones. This one. Three damage. Wow. 45. Okay, but now he's down to 17. So now we take the next one. He's down to 12. Ooh, this is not good. 32. And he has two of them. Bow. No damage. We have that unit down there, too. Okay. Well, they're gaining a healing here because of his aura. That's fine. But uh, what do we have? Magic Missile. We can still do Magic Missile here. He has very high magic resistance, though. So magic, maybe the Magic Missile, the normal one, will be better. Let's use the... Oh, we have one, one angel left here. Let's use the Spearman again, first of all. And then we'll move this one in here. Um, here. Right. we got to get him down to one unit. 17 left. Right, now that's gone. Nine left now. Okay, now we can take this one. Um, I'm going to fire first and see if I can get him down. Yep, now I can. Okay. Fireball. 
down to one. Okay, that's good. Now I want to attack again though because only 12% there and 1.8. Right, so now he's down to 40. Anything left here? Yes, we can do magic missile. Regular one, eight and six. Yeah, he's very weak actually. 10. Hmm. To that actual spell. Okay. The dwarf, uh, we're gonna move him up. That unit now is coming up. Priest, he's gonna do lesser heal or something there, but I think we can take him out now. So we should probably take him, first of all. Let's use the spearman again. That must be the last one. Um, and then we'll go in, move there. Now we're down, now we're down to 11, okay. Five, okay. I wanted to take him out now. Magic missile, come on. Yes, we took him out. And that was with Falcon too. Great. So we have this dwarf left. Uh, I'm gonna move him up here, probably. Right, and he can still move, but we're not gonna move. Okay, two units left. They are fairly weak now, the angels, but... Um, hmm. We can keep on firing, and we just put our angels in the way. Right, let's do that. Because we have a couple of ranged units here. Fireball. And then we'll do... Well, we still have a, two magic missiles we can do. Two regular spells. We'll do that against him here in a second, actually. And who do we have left? This unit there. I, I, I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we got to be careful with this one there. Let's take Fulcrum now. Magic missile there. Right. So 12 damage is very solid. Yep, we're gonna win this. Uh, we're d oh, we have this one too, okay. Oh, we're taking damage, great. Um, him, he can actually go in. Oh, come on. One hit point left. Who can attack? Nobody can attack. Who's left? This angel. Mm, we're low, but we can make it now. I know we can. Let's do a magic missile here. Great. Level 5. Great. Oh, what did, does he get? Uh, magic shield. Range counterattack. Don't need that. Mind control immunity. It's a good one, right? Sleep fear. Yeah, we need that one. I think we need this one. We'll take it. Okay, so that's turn 319. What are we looking at here? Uh, build constraint uh, complete in door. Okay, city wall three is good. Got lesser arcane strike. Uh, Brompton, we got a boyer. Bowman housing next. City wall three in Ode. Great. More warriors. And that warrior gained uh, weaponry damage one. Unit training 10. Great. Trade goods in uh, Helidrath. Nope, we're going to change that, right? Unit raised from the dead. Hyman Bishop. Thank you very much for that. And now we're sitting here. But we have a lot of damage on them. And we have one army here, one army there. It's pretty good. And if I can get... Rompton over here... Oh, yeah, I can get him in. Okay, he can come in now. We can take him there. I think I'm going to go up here. And then next turn, he can go here, actually. And then head on up here. We got to push back for Exegear. I don't think we have to worry too much about it down here. Our defense that we have in the cities are going to be fine. All hands on deck up north. And then we could make 2400 there. And we don't have a wall here. But we have one chance to uh, switch it out. We have five units. We could put more in our city. Blood or grunt is nothing. Yeah, we could take some of them, move them into the city. I don't want to lose this city. Right. He's going to attack. But if I put couple of units in there. We can stay here, actually. I think. He's not going to be able to... Well, 3,500 there. <clears throat> hmm. 4,000. We could rearrange it, right? So we have a pretty strong army here, and then the rest goes into Idugs and protects that. Right, we also have this unit here. 
And then Brompton will come in from the south next. Yeah, next, basically, yeah. Okay, well, that looks pretty good to me, but I have to stop. It's been 45 minutes, and uh, I'll come back next time. If you like this, as always, give me a like, and I'll catch you guys later.